welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking all about hair. I just dyed my hair last night at home on my own and I dyed it the same bluish, grayish color that I had before um, but this time I wanted to document the process and share it with you guys. I am also going to be doing a giveaway so if you're curious or want to learn more about any of those things then just keep on watching. Okay, first of all, to dye my hair and get it this color, I use the Joyco Color Intensity Color Butter um, in the color Titanium and I've definitely talked about this on my channel before. I kind of need to give you some history on my hair before I go into how I used this exactly. I've dyed and bleached my hair several times. I have a hairstylist back in the Bay Area. His name is Jacob and he helped me dye my hair and get it to a really nice balayage. When I moved out to LA, my friends James and Mindy helped dye my hair so that I could do more of a pink ombre color, but now it's um, faded to a more blonde color. So like I said, my hair has been bleached several times and it's very light now. Like there are Obviously, it's very blonde and you can see in the clip how blonde and light it was But the reason that the color butter worked so well on my hair is because it was already really light So I think in order <laughs> No one saw that right? I think in order for you to use this product um, Your hair does have to be pretty light already whether it's naturally blonde or you had it bleached like I did Anyway, if your hair is really light, it's super easy to apply this I just applied it with my hands straight out of the tube Definitely use gloves though because um, the tub even says to use gloves. I don't know why I just didn't feel like using it, but there are a lot of chemicals in here that you know might be harmful to your skin um, or might irritate it. So use gloves for sure. After reading all the ingredients in here, I really wished I had used gloves. But as you can see, it didn't stain my hands at all. It was super easy to wash off of my skin. But yeah, I just section off my hair and then make sure I apply it as evenly as possible to all of my strands. Once that's done, I put all of my hair into a um, hair cap? Shower cap? <laughs> I couldn't think of the words for a moment. Um, I put all my hair up in a shower cap and I left it on for 30 minutes. The tub, um, the instructions actually say to just leave it on for five minutes, but um, I just find that to be a little bit weird and short, so I left it on for 30 minutes. I also bought a hair cape to protect my clothes um, from getting dirty, but you can just use an old t-shirt you have laying around. That's totally fine too. Um, or just be naked in the bathroom. <laughs> That's fine too. One tub is enough for my hair, and I have a lot of hair. If you have shorter hair, maybe like up to your shoulders, then uh, maybe half the tub would work for you or something. Um, I just ended up using the entire tub to be safe and just to make sure I got every strand. Then I just washed it off and um, shampooed my hair, just mostly concentrating it on the roots. I don't really shampoo my strands too much anyway, so that's normal for me. Um, I did skip the conditioner, however, because I didn't want to mix the color with more chemicals, especially when I'm like dyeing it. This is actually a hair treatment also. I found that after the first time I used it, it actually did help like hydrate my hair again and made it more shiny and felt it felt healthier also. I thought it was totally okay to skip the conditioner this time around. You can really feel the difference in the shower also that it feels like you had already put on conditioner. So I skipped that part just that time. I'm definitely going to continue conditioning um, the next time I wash my hair. Then you just blow dry your hair and style it as usual and you can see in the clip like how shiny my hair looked after using this product. Um, it was amazing. Like I was kind of shocked myself at how nice and healthy it felt. So yeah, this is day two hair now and um, I just have, they just look like waves. Yeah, I really just love this so much and I really want to keep this hair color for as long as I can. Because this is so temporary, it took away the intimidating factor of dyeing my hair myself at home. I don't know how my stylists feel about that, but it was just fun to kind of experiment with this and I'm glad like the end result turned out really nice. Now time for the super fun part, which is the giveaway. I'm going to be giving away this box of Joyco Color Butters and this video isn't sponsored by them whatsoever. Like all, everything I said is my own opinion, um, but they were nice enough to sponsor a giveaway. So I'm going to be giving away this box of Joyco Color Butters to one lucky winner. And the colors in here are titanium, which is the one that I used, 
There's also green, pink, purple, blue, and red. Lots of colors here for you to try. And this is actually going to be an Instagram giveaway. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you're following me there if you want to enter the giveaway. And just look out for my hair post for instructions on how to enter. And I will be choosing a winner within a week. So yeah. It also comes with gloves for you to use so you don't have to use your hands. I am super excited to be doing this giveaway and to kind of share with you guys how I got this hair color because I am so in love with it. Honestly, I love this hair color. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and learning how I did all of this. Um, if you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I would super appreciate it. And if you want to see more videos from me, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button down below. and. Follow me on Instagram if you want to enter the giveaway. Uh, la, la, la. So that's it for this video, guys. I will see you in my next one. Bye! Bye, 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 bye.